and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Katie. Today I have a little bit more of a spiritual related video for y'all. Every Sunday I'm going to start posting different videos just about spirituality, self-healing, all that good stuff. So I wanted to start it off with a very, 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 very important aspect of all of those things. Getting into deeper into your spiritual journey connecting with yourself, figuring out yourself. That one thing is meditation. Now I know you're probably like, ugh, meditation, I can't sit there and do nothing for like five, 10, 30 minutes. I don't know how people do it, but don't worry. If I can do it, <laughs> I promise you, you can get into it. So I just gathered about 10 really helpful tips that I've learned along the way that have helped me to be able to kind of tap into my inner self a little bit more and be able to concentrate while I'm meditating rather than constantly getting frustrated over just not being able to do it the way I think you're supposed to be able to do it. So meditation every day is just good for you in general. It's really good to be able to have that quiet time to yourself and quiet your mind a little bit. Whether you're by yourself or around a bunch of people, around one other person, whatever it is, you're gonna be having a lot of chaos going on in your mind just because you have random thoughts popping up here and there. Now, for some people, myself included, that can get a little bit more chaotic whenever it feels like you're having so many thoughts just running in and out of your head even within like five minutes. So it's very nice and it feels so great to be able to just get even five to 10 minutes of just quiet time just to quiet your mind down let you be able to focus in on yourself I feel like whenever you're able to focus in on yourself you're able to rationalize more and realize what is actually important in your growth because when it comes down to it stuff like this is not selfish you're gonna have you have to grow and you have to do what you need to do to be able to do that and if meditation is one of those things then by God go ahead and do it I don't even know if this sounded right Another thing that I've noticed about meditating is it just kind of helps me be able to slow down in general. So whenever I feel like super clouded or I feel like I'm starting to maybe get a little anxious, start worrying a little bit too much about something, I'll just sit there, close my eyes, breathe for a few minutes at a time. And a lot of the times, I mean, it, it helps. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump into 10 of the tips that I wanted to give to y'all to make your meditation journey a little bit easier. Tip number one. I want to start off with this one because I feel like it is so important to know. I don't know why it took me forever to realize this or to learn this, but once I learned this, oh my gosh, it helped me so much. So stop worrying about all the thoughts that keep popping up in your head while you're trying to be still and quiet. Just let them pop up, explore them for a little bit, and let them fade away in the background. It's all right to keep having thoughts pop up. I mean, it's gonna happen, we're humans, like they're automatic, we can't help it. So just keep that in mind. Anytime you have a thought pop up, just take a deep breath, think about it for a second, and just try to let it go. And I don't mean let it go as in forget about it because that might be a little bit hard and that's where the frustration comes in. I just mean let it go as in just let it fade away into the background. Just kind of like background noise. We all have background noise that we don't pay attention to. Think about it like that. Tip number two. Don't start out trying to do like 30, 45 minutes at a time. Like, like that shit is hard. Like, don't do that to yourself. Just do a few minutes at a time. Start off with maybe like three minutes for a week. And then once you start feeling comfortable and feeling like you can fully relax and be able to let those thoughts fade away and you're not worried about what's coming next, what you're cooking tonight, you know, all that stuff, you're able to just fully concentrate on yourself at that moment, then go ahead and increase it a little bit. Do it for like five minutes, then do seven minutes. Don't try to do big, huge gaps where you're doing like, oh, I'm gonna start off at five minutes. Oh, I had a good day tomorrow. I'm gonna try to do 30 minutes. No, it don't work like that. Five minutes, stay steady until you're comfortable. Increase it a little bit, just a little bit, not a lot. Tip number three, if it is very chaotic around your household, whether it's animals, kids, take advantage of 
the morning time or the night time. What I mean by this is, you know, a lot of us happen to wake up at like 5 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, and if everybody is asleep and you're the only one awake, get the willpower to just get your butt up, plant both of your feet on the floor, get grounded for a second, and go walk over to wherever you gotta go and do a little bit of meditating then. Then you're able to get in a little bit while it's completely quiet. And that's not even just your household. That's just the environment in general is going to be more quiet because your neighbors are more than likely going to be asleep. There's not going to be a lot of in and out traffic. If you, well, I'm saying that coming from my end because we live in apartments. But if you, you know, if you have a lot of traffic coming in on your road or whatever it is, Usually, I mean, it's going to be a little less like early, early, early in the morning or late, late, late at night. Tip number four, be present. This is still something that I'm having to work on. We all have at least five minutes out of our whole day to put towards ourselves. Take that five minutes and put it towards meditation. Be present during that five minutes. Stop worrying about what you're going to do when you get done, what you're going to cook for dinner, what you're doing tomorrow, if you're going to be able to see your boyfriend. Like, just remember, every time you start to feel those thoughts and the, or any worries or anything coming up, just remind yourself that this is your moment. You're here for five minutes. That's all it takes. And it's okay to stop thinking about everything else for a minute. Well, or five. On to tip number five. Use headphones. Oh my goodness, I cannot stress this enough. Use headphones. That has helped me so, so much because obviously you're able to, you know, quiet out the noise around you, but you can also listen to different guided meditations, different like meditation music, stuff like that. And it's going to be right there, right there, not over there in the speaker where you also have your dog growling over here and your cat meowing over here and your baby screaming back there. Put headphones in. Get rid of all that extra noise. Tip number six. Use visuals. You can use a flame, a candle flame. You can use like a little dot you draw on the wall or on a piece of paper on the wall, whatever. You know, don't go marking on your walls and shit. Just <laughs> mark a piece of paper or something. If you're outside, you can find like a leaf on the ground. I know a lot of people will do that. Um, but yeah, just having that visual and having something to concentrate on, especially a candle flame because it's constantly just like flickering. That'll help you to be able to have that one thing to concentrate on rather than everything around you. Tip number seven, essential oils. So I'm not really going to go too, too into detail for this one because I am going to get some videos eventually just describing different essential oils, different oils you can mix together to make certain things and just good stuff like that but I will say a few essential oils that are good for meditating especially are sandalwood lavender and clary sage those are all gonna be relaxing ones frankincense is also another good one to use but yeah get you some essential oils going on burn you a incense stick but obviously be careful where you get those from because some of them can just be cheap and not really give you any benefits um, and that leads me to tip number eight, which is burning things like sage or palo santo. That's another thing just to kind of cleanse the energy around you and help you to be able to concentrate a little bit better. All right, so now we got tip number nine. That would be to engage in what's called ujjayi breathing. That breath is very commonly used during yoga flows and yoga practices because it's such an auditory breath. They try to sit there and claim like you can't hear everybody when they're doing it, but you can hear people doing that shit. It's kind of loud. What it is, is it's kind of like restricting your throat a little bit. So one, it slows down your breath while you're exhaling, but two, it also gives you that ocean wave type sounds that give you something else to concentrate on. That's something I really like to use, especially whenever I'm trying new yoga poses that are really hard. Just because, I mean, it does use a little bit of force. So it's not like just our normal breathing where we're just breathing in and out. You have to actually think about it, use your throat muscles a little bit, and it just, it distracts you, honestly. I mean, there's of course other benefits from it too, but for the sake of this video, it's 
a good distracting mechanism. <laughs> And it's very relaxing too because the ocean, think about how relaxing the ocean waves are. I'm telling you, that's what it sounds like. And my last and final tip, number 10, get a pillow or a block, whatever it is, and sit on top of it. So then that way your pelvis is tilted forward just the tiniest bit. Just sit on it, just on the edge, just enough to tilt your pelvis forward just a tiny bit. So think of it like a bowl. It's like this. And if you are sitting up straight on top of this pillow, you're tilting it forward a little bit. That helps you to lengthen your spine just a little bit more and open up your chest and lungs. And it just makes your breathing a lot easier. Just give it a try. All right, so there's my 10 tips that hopefully you will be able to put into practice and get your meditating going so you can keep going through that spiritual journey of yours and connect with your inner self and find that true happiness and love for yourself and everything around you. I'm going to go finish my coffee now. So hope everyone enjoys the rest of their day and namaste. Bye.